subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. The date time module in Python provides a powerful time delta class, which allows you to represent a duration or the difference between two dates. However, it doesn't have a direct representation for years due to variations in the length of a year, leap years. To handle years specifically, you can use a combination of time delta and date util. Relative delta from the date util library. Here's a step by step tutorial on how to use time delta for years with code examples. If you haven't installed the date util library, you can install it using the following command. To represent a duration of, for example, two years, you can create a relative delta object and then use it with the date time module. In this example, relative delta is used to create a time delta object representing two years. You can adjust the years parameter as needed. The relative delta class automatically takes care of leap years. For instance, if you add one year to February 29th, it will correctly adjust to February 28th in a non-leap year. This example demonstrates how a relative delta handles leap years automatically. By combining time delta and relative delta, you can effectively work with years in Python's date time module. This approach provides flexibility and accuracy when dealing with date differences that span multiple years. Chat GPT